Yo, what's up guys, Raw here, and holy shit, it's been a while since I made a video, but here we go. This is going to be taking Immortep to school, baby, about to throw the books at him. Alright, I had a bunch of books laying around, and I'm like, you know what, these things are burning a hole in my pocket, I have to use them. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed all these books to Immortep, and I have around, I think, I don't know, 600 books or so. And uh, we got 108 perp books, which are 20k XP a piece. Then we got all these blue books. I haven't even really been doing quests as much as I should. I work all day, so sometimes I miss one of them or, you know, I don't know. I just get fucking lazy sometimes and I don't do shit in this game. I could probably be way more advanced if I actually, you know, took the time to really get up in arena and all that. But you know what? Uh, come winter time, I will have all the time in the world to get up there. So that's the plan. I'll be putting out videos every day again because uh, I won't have shit else to do. So, all right, guys. It takes for fucking ever to load all these books up. So I apologize for that. Uh, I think we need a low, you know, like a select all button or auto consume or fucking something. We need something. I can't sit here and press all these books, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Quests, the quest update. That was fuck. That was an amazing update. The quests are awesome. You get all these books. You get honor badges. You get tons of other stuff. Uh, really good job on that update, in my opinion. It is a great feature to have in the game. And we're almost there. We're just gonna get some of these green books. All right, guys. Um, also, it only takes a couple green books to get a hero uh -huh. to uh, level sixty. I just used a couple green books and. You know, it's no problem. But uh, also honor badges, of course. But, all right, we got Minnow to 140. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade him real quick. He's uh, sitting at 5 and 9 skill as well. And I was lucky enough to roll 4 or 5 Revitalize on Immortep. And since I have Revitalize, I've been using him in the arena in a heads-up lane. And you know what? I haven't really been using my Thunder God as much now that I have Immortep. I know, that sounds crazy, right? Arena without Thunder God? Is there such a thing? But alright guys, we uh, went ahead and took him to 8 stars, and I'll be working on him. I really like Immortep, probably more than others. Uh, maybe because I don't level up my Reaper. I don't know, but let's check this out. Alright, we're going up uh, against another Duke in the arena. And as you can see, this is the 6 I run, and I do use Succubus. Yes, I know, I use Succubus to win. It's alright, but I don't use uh, Thunder God, and you're going to see why. Boom. As soon as the Mortep goes off, it's lights out. I also have 4 or 5 Revitalize on Minotaur, so I put him in front of the pack, and then uh, once he hits and goes off, uh, Immortep is soon to follow, and it's just a deadly combination. Then you've got uh, Spirit Mage Prox usually by then. Alright, we got Rumble T. He's an Archduke. Let's see if we can hit him heads up, and you're going to see I put my ranged heroes up front along with Minotaur and that's because my ranged heroes are gonna stop and hit the uh, lead hero of the enemy team first and they won't take aggro Minotaur still will Minotaur goes off then we got Immortep and Thunder God and it's just lights out there's really no way to beat that unless you can get a proc off first heads up there's no way you're never gonna move by the time my uh, Minotaur Immortep and Thunder God go off I don't care you know how high level your heroes are you're dead um, and as, as you can see he had the uh, health bonus too with that Archduke alright we got another one I think I don't know is this the same guy as the first one I can't remember but there we go we're gonna hit him heads up again and I think he's gonna stun me first actually yeah he stuns me first bam then my minnow goes off and it's lights out there's no way after minnow goes off that he's gonna do anything and his minnow hit me first um, and then it's just a cleanup after that on the altar. And as you can see, he hits the altar when he's buffed for about 10k. Uh, when he's not buffed by Pumpkin Duke, it's around 7k or something like that, as you can see. Alright guys, let's check him out in H1. And as you know, Immortep really, really shines in Here Be Monsters. Uh, he just he annihilates the dragons and the uh, Ornies really quickly if he goes off on a horde of those things it's just over and you're gonna see it right now bam he goes off watch the dragons and the ornies now there's a lot of them he's not really hitting the dragons so i apologize about that but that wasn't a good example but hey we'll get to another one there's 
four more rounds after this. A lot of times on H5, he will proc on the uh, dragons, and it's just game over. So yeah, he's only five and nine skill. I would love to see Namortep, you know, seven and nine or eight of nine skill in action because it's probably really, really deadly. If you have a war god or something like that on him, which I used to have, uh, it's just gonna make that proc even more, um, more deadly. So here we go. There you go. He's taking out those copters. And H has become very easy for me. I mean, I had I never lose an H now. It doesn't matter what happens. I haven't lost an H in weeks, uh, but I still can't beat I. I'm working on it. Probably have to switch my base up a little bit. But uh, like I said, I'm just too lazy to do it. I work way too much right now. But all right, guys, we're gonna get through this here be monsters, and then we're gonna check Mo out on the boss. Um. And Immortap's proc is pretty similar to Snowzilla's proc, the way that it ticks, you know, tick, 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 ticks all that damage. But it's not as powerful as Snowzilla, but you get that stun. So it's a, you know, it's a pick your poison type thing. Do you want more damage or do you want that stun? And in some situations, that stun is a lot more useful, like in arena and boss fights. So overall, I don't even really use my Snowzilla anymore. Uh, I just use Immortep. And I know some people might disagree with me on that, but hey, it's my opinion. It's all that matters. And here we go on H5. We're going to see if we can get uh, Emo to proc on those dragons so I can show you. All right, here we go. Run over there, buddy. Come on. Nah, it wasn't. There we go. He procs again. There's no cooldown, so we can just do whatever. All right, and then he just takes out those dragons. No problem. H is like butter now. And uh, I'm going to have to try to start farming I because that would be amazing. All right, we're going to drop Cupid first. Drop a uh, Druid. We got a heavy blow to go off. And uh, this little segment, this clip, is just going to show you guys how much he hits the boss for. And those ticks are all Immortep except for the 35k ones. The ones that hit for 35k are my champion and thunder god. So all the other ticks are going to be Mortep. Now when he's buffed by Cupid, Druid, and Pumpkin Duke, he's hitting for about 30 to 35k. And uh, when he's not all synced up with the buffs, it's uh, it's about 20 to in between 20 and 30k. Sometimes a little lower. But uh, this is also, as you can see, the beginning of the uh, stun train. So once the buffs get going and stack and stack, he's hitting for 35k as well. But alright guys, that is the video. Take any more tep to school. I'm glad I raised him up. I'm a big fan of you more tep. Uh, and guess what guys, I got another video, or another video, another giveaway coming. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Thanks for all the support. Stay raw. Stay raw. Everyone keeps uh, commenting to me, stay raw. So we're just going to roll with it. That's the new slogan. Stay raw, baby. All right, see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks, as always, for watching. And uh, can't wait to hit 6K subs. I really appreciate it, guys. Love you all. See you in the next one, baby.